People want to rebuke demons. People want to cast out demons. They want to bind them. They want to uh, to resist them. But they themselves, they have they, their vengeance is not fulfilled. Their holiness is not fulfilled. Their righteousness is not fulfilled. Their kindness is not fulfilled. That means that when you want to have the power of the warfare, your obedience should be fulfilled first. That is what God is saying. Why? Why is obedience must be fulfilled first? It is because uh, the power, the power of prayers, the power of our warfare is found in obedience. Because demons, demons respect an obedient child of God. If you are obedient to God, if you are respecting God, if you submit to God, even demons will submit to you. If you obey God, even demons will obey you. Because what he will say will come out from a holy heart. What he will say will have power because you, you submit to God. You cannot tell the devil to submit to you where you don't submit to God. You cannot tell the devil to obey you where you don't obey God. Tell me. How can the demons obey you when you are rebellious, when you don't hear God, when you are not kind, when you are not faithful, when you are not respecting God, when you are not fearing God? How can demons fear you if you yourself you don't even fear God? How can demons obey you when yourself you don't obey God? How can they submit to you when you yourself you don't submit to God? Demons, they follow authority from on higher. If you are not practicing the scripture, you will not quote the scripture over the devil. Because when you rebuke the devil, or when you enter to the spiritual warfare, the enemy looks for a gap. He, he scans you, he examines you through the scripture. Because the enemy, he knows all the scripture. And so when you rebuke him, when you enter to warfare, to wrestle with the devil, he examines the scripture to see if you are fulfilling the scripture. To see if you are right, you, are, you yourself, you are living in obedience. To see if your obedience is fulfilled. That is why he say that, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. My dear brother and my sister, do not dare to cast out demons, to rebuke demons, when you know that your obedience is not fulfilled. When you know that your life is not, you are not living in a holy life. When you know that you have sinned. When you know that you are living in sexual sin. When you know that you are living in adultery. When you know that you are living in pornography. When you know that you are living in sin. That your obedience is not fulfilled. Know that you don't have power over demons. Demons will overpower you. Demons will fight against you. Once your obedience is not fulfilled, you cannot rebuke them. Once your obedience is not fulfilled, you cannot walk in power. You cannot walk in authority. Of whom authority is that? That you will walk in authority when you yourself you don't follow the authority of God. Of whom we respect you if you don't respect God. What and how do you expect demons to respect you when you don't respect God? How do you expect demons to, to, to respect your authority when you don't have a, when you don't hear the authority from God? You don't submit the authority from above. That is why God said that we know that we know the Bible says that we know that we know that now we know that God does not hear the sinners. But if anyone is a worshipper of God and does his will, he hears him. Look at that. But if anyone is a worshipper of God, he hears him. If you are a worshipper of God in truth and spirit, God hears you. But if you are not a worshipper of God in truth and spirit, God does not hear you. Even demons will ask you, who are you? I know that Jesus that you are speaking, but surely who are you? I don't recognize you. Sin make us to, to appear unrecognized. 